IBC says 10 million voters registered so far. Ryla and Kalonzo to announce court flag bearer next Saturday. And Uhuru and Mudavadi urge to adopt consensus in nomination process. Welcome and thank you for joining us. I'm Charles Gishane. Now let's jump right into our top stories of the day. The Independent and Electoral Boundaries Commission now says that 10 million voters have been registered with only five days to go until the deadline. IEBC Chairman Isaac Hassan is urging eligible voters to take advantage of the five days ahead of the Tuesday deadline to register so that they enable them to participate in the March 4th general election. Hassan, however, says that the credibility of the election will not be eroded if the target of 18 million voters is not achieved. The IEBC boss says that the commission has now instructed its clerks in pastoralist areas to move with the kits to remote areas including water points to enlist voters. Hassan spoke at the launch of a partnership with the Nairobi City Council and the Clean Kenya campaign, which is aimed at increasing numbers of voters before next week. The electoral body insists it will not extend the Tuesday deadline because Kenyans have been given enough time to register. I think if we just, the number we get, that's the number we are going to use to conduct elections. My question is that if 12.4 million voters were registered in 2010, and out of this, 72% turned up to vote. You know, we had about 8 million Kenyans who voted. Not all of them voted, by the way. It was 70, 70, 70, 72% voted. And out of that, uh, about uh, 6 million voted for yes. And so, if that, was, that number was able to usher in a new constitutional dispensation, we believe even if we get uh, 13 million, 14 million, 15 million, whatever number we get is enough to conduct a general election. Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka have promised to divulge who between them will be Cord's presidential candidate on December 22nd. Unlike the Jubilee Alliance, where Deputy Prime Ministers Uhuru Kenyatta and Musalia Mudavadi are to go through nomination by party members, the court presidential candidate will be decided through consensus between the Premier and the VP. The two leaders made the announcement on Thursday afternoon after a meeting in Raila's office, which was attended by key leaders of ODM and the Wiper Party. We have also agreed that uh, we will hold a major public rally uh, to Huru Park on the 22nd of this month. That is going to be a very crucial rally at which we shall make major announcement to our members and to the country. 22nd of December is a crucial day for us and for the country. And finally, while the matter appears to be no headache for the court alliance, the choice of presidential candidate is proving to be a thorn in the flesh of the Jubilee Alliance. Businessman Jimna Baru, who is aspiring to be Nairobi's governor on a TNA ticket, now says plans to subject Uhuru Kenyatta and Musalia Mudavadi through a delegate's vote for the main ticket is ill-advised. Jimna says the delegate system is open to manipulation and is likely to lead to a major fallout within the nascent coalition. He insists that Uhuru and Musalia should agree amongst themselves who can step down for the other. TNA, URP, and UDF are each supposed to send 30 delegates per county to Nairobi next Tuesday, where they will elect a Jubilee presidential candidate between Uhuru and Musalia. If there is a time for the Jubilee coalition to speak with one voice, that time is now. As one of the gubernatorial candidates in Nairobi, I wish to add my voice to those within the coalition who have proposed that the choice of a candidate be carried out through consensus of key representatives from the three partner parties, TNA, UDF, and the United Republican Party. And that does it for our top stories of the day. Thank you for joining us. I'm Charles Gishane.